Hi, welcome back to the Human Anatomy Lab. Today we're going to talk about cerebral spinal fluid. Right here is a picture of what real cerebral spinal fluid is. And if you've watched the meningeal model video, then you know that cerebral spinal fluid is held here in the subarachnoid space. And this is going to cushion our brain from our skull. But the real question is, where is cerebral spinal fluid produced? So take five seconds and just think to yourself, what empty space is in our brain that produces these, the cerebral spinal fluid? So we're gonna jump on over to this model here. If you said ventricles, then you are correct. So this ventricle model is gonna be the hollow space in our brain where we are gonna produce cerebral spinal fluid. Professor Klein here to talk about this image of the ventricles and that anatomy app that I use. And you can see all that blue are the ventricles, but the pink purple stuff is the choroid plexus, which is where the CSF actually is produced. But I'll let Kara talk more about this. Here's another app and this one you can remove piece by piece and you can see I'm removing a ton of stuff nerves brain tissue all that sort of stuff to get down to the level of the ventricles and you can see the lateral ventricle you can see the third ventricle which kind of has that uh, piece in the middle down there is a the fourth ventricle it looks like it is uh, like a y shape and then a line going down the brain stem back to kara specifically we have these pink structures here known as the choroid plexus and this is where cerebral spinal fluid is produced first. So this is going to be our first location in our pathway. So we made cerebral spinal fluid on the choroid plexus, and if we jump over here to our sagittal head model, if you can remember, we have the lateral ventricle here, which would be the hollow space, the hollow space of the third ventricle, and the fourth ventricle here. And the pink choroid plexus from the last model is now going to be this purple structure here. And this is where cerebral spinal fluid is going to be produced. But how do we get cerebral spinal fluid from the choroid plexus to the subarachnoid space, which would be found here surrounding the brain? And the answer to that question is the cerebral spinal fluid pathway. Our first stop is going to be this lateral ventricle which can be seen as the hollow space here. Next, we're gonna travel through the interventricular foramen, which would be coming off the lateral ventricle here into the third ventricle, which is found here on this model. Leaving the third ventricle, we have the cerebral aqueduct, which is here and is this long skinny path right here which is going to lead us into the fourth ventricle which can be seen protruding into the cerebellum here following the fourth ventricle we have this long skinny pathway the central canal reminder we do have meningeal layers that also surround the spinal cord here so when we get to the fourth ventricle, we have a decision to make. Do we wanna to go to the subarachnoid space surrounding the spinal cord, or do we wanna to go to the subarachnoid space surrounding the brain? And this is where we can take the central canal to feed the spinal cord, or we can take the median and lateral apertures, leaving the fourth ventricle. On this model, we have two lateral apertures and one median aperture. So let's say we made the decision to go to the brain. So we're gonna leave the fourth ventricle and we can take one of the apertures that's gonna jump us to the subarachnoid space surrounding the brain. Which if we head over here, we know that this is the subarachnoid space and this is where cerebral spinal fluid is going to be floating around. However, if we want to drain the cerebral spinal fluid, we will enter the arachnoid villi and drain into the dural venous sinus. Now we're leaving the fourth ventricle and we want to go to the spinal cord. So we're gonna leave the fourth ventricle and travel down the central canal, which can be seen on this model as number nine. 
And that is how we get cerebral spinal fluid from the ventricles to the subarachnoid space. Like, subscribe, and leave a comment if this video was helpful.